Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK Rust series. So in this episode, uh, we'll be discussing the latest changes in the uh, FLTK Rust uh, 0.11 release. You'll notice that there are some several missing releases. These have these have been yanked since uh, <laughs> I had several problems. Uh, one of them was uh, a broken build caused by a Clippy suggestion. So uh, there we are. So the major changes, uh, I've removed several uh, methods from the uh, enums color, uh, specifically the 2RGB and 2U32. So currently the um, the enum itself, the colors enum, uh, basically uses the uh, bit flags uh, crate and uh, these uh, so colors in FLTK are a bit, are a bit uh, special. They are presented as RGBI, the I being the index of the color within the uh, enum itself. So uh, basically just uh, printing the uh, to RGB or to U32 would give uh, false values for these colors here. It would be correct for other colors if you've uh, created your uh, own color from RGB or from U32 but if you try to get the value it would be wrong so to basically add <coughs> to, to basically get the uh, RGB value back you can use the display trait uh, which is implemented for the colors which would show the uh, the actual color and uh, if it's another color, for example, which was uh, a custom color, uh, you can get the uh, actual uh, hex value of the color. And these can be um, translated to RGB using the utils, uh, the new uh, functions in the utils uh, module, regib, uh, RGB to hex and hex to RGB. So if you go back to the change log, the other breaking change was that uh, the uh, the widget uh, trait uh, trigger call returns a callback trigger instead of an int. Uh, so this was just uh, something that was uh, an oversight by my part, and uh, it now correctly returns a callback trigger. Uh, there's the uh, custom display implementation for color. Uh, if you use the debug uh, implementation that means if you do for example uh, print line to get the display you can just for example get the color directly so color white uh, the debug implementation which comes from the bit flag crate uh, you would have to add these uh, the, uh, the colon and the question mark and this would give you the debug value but it's not that useful for colors um, so now I'm using the lazy static uh, for globals and the bit flags for several enum types. Uh, we've talked about the uh, RGB to hex and uh, hex to RGB. Uh, there are no now new uh, functions in the draw module: the set draw RGB color and set draw hex color, which basically deal with the previous problem. Basically, for the draw module, um, FLTK understands RGB and hex and it wouldn't understand its own uh, enums so uh, if you pass an enum um, it might understand it um, the uh, the app message now uh, needs only to be send and sync so you can pass uh, strings for example as messages uh, the set font, set color, and visible focus, set visible focus are basically just uh, setting the global uh, uh, style of the application. So for example, if we take the hello button example, so you can see that uh, this is just the default view, uh, image, uh, the default appearance of FLTK. If you needed, for example, previously to uh, get a uh, white window uh, white frame, a white background for example, you either had to change the colors of all the widgets or you can pass the show with args and pass the 
the color and the show with args. Now we can also do app set color and you can pass uh, for example and this actually takes an RGB value so <laughs> you can for example say um, so this would be uh, a green background the other uh, globals you can set the global font of the application so uh, for example if you run this save it So basically, if I'll take a defaults to the Helvetica font, you can change this, for example, globally using the set font. Uh, courier, for example, bold. So you can see the color, the uh, font has changed for all the application. The same for the visible focus and clear visible focus. Uh, the um, as you've seen here, for example, you can see there's a dotted line, a really thin line around the uh, the button. So this is the visible focus. You can remove it by setting the clear visible focus or the visible focus to false. And uh, uh, there are several fixes. The widget trait uh, center of uh, also accounts for uh, the special positioning within Windows, since Windows have a uh, an X of zero, so these are uh, correctly accounted for. The widget uh, trait as window and as group uh, they only require uh, mutable ref to self. So, uh, for example, uh, the widget doesn't have to be mutable to call the as window or as group and the uh, default window is uh, now a double window instead of a single window uh, this gives better performance especially in windows so since basically the uh, default uh, for FLTK is to give you a double window on uh, Linux and Mac OS and a single window for windows so now it's uh, a double window for all platforms this means just uh, it's a double buffer so it gives better rendering, uh, especially for uh, if you have some custom drawing on Windows. And that was basically it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully, I'll be creating more content soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.